y'all we are here another month good morning good day good afternoon good night whatever you want to watch or watching hello hello we gotta get into what's up april because march just flew out of here like a thief in the night so if you're new to the channel what's up april may march all that is where i showed you what all i finished and introduced what i'm going to be using for the month y'all this is a good way for us to shop out stash and de-stash some things so let me get right into my empties um i always had well the ioni lashes from dollar tree of course that's going to be part of the empty i normally get like a good two three weeks out of one pair of lashes and hand soap time y'all so particular hand soap uh wild lavender Amen was in my bathroom finish uh fresh lavender and mint is this the same thing oh i didn't realize it okay so wild lavender and mint and fresh lavender mint fresh lavender mint was at the kitchen sink but that's done um another hand soap the lavender and chamomile i must be out of thing for lavender this month but i use these as bubble baths and then in the guest bath white tea and sage all done for and I am the person that needs no more hand soaps. Another pair of lashes. Looks like I, I love them from Dollar Tree. I like the wispies. I like the little full, but it has to be wispy. Um, the original hand sanitizer spray is called the original, but I love that scent. And hand creams at the beach, in the stars. Y'all, I don't care. I just have those on deck all the time because they're constantly in my apron pocket and I wash my hands a lot. Let me just bring the box right here. So, continuing with the empties. My You're the One EDP. Finally finished that. And this was from February. I don't, I don't think I showed that, but this is... She's done done. Another body wash that's done the cocoa skin. This was the one you had to shake to activate the coconut oil in it. Ah, the Victoria's Secret pink. That was one of the best ones. They now change it to like that thicker dove consistency formula, but I like that one better. And then to keep on with my whole little coconut theme I had going on, the coconut orchard water from St. Eyes, body wash, shower time, done, done. And good vibes was my scent of the month for March. This is Fragrant Lily, Pineapple Breeze, and Pink Sunset. I got a little bit left in here, so I normally use that as room spray around the house. But as you can see, she is done for. And what I was sad about killing y'all, Restful Moon. Restful Moon was patchouli, vanilla, and sandalwood. Y'all know when this was on at the store, I had none of it. I got this off of... I don't know where I got it from, but all I know is I don't have no more. And I wish I had more because those three sentinels together up under that bathtub and that shower, you get the true meaning of aromatherapy. And I don't even know where I got this. And then last but not least, my all night is set in spray. This is done right on time because Sephora VIB going on. And I think I'm just insider, but my friend Tasha is rouge with 20%. Between that setting spray and the Morphe one that's in like the aerosol can, those setting sprays for me for the past, this one the past five years, the Morphe one the past two years has been golden. I'll, I'll deal with others like at the drugstore because I have coupons, but those right there, gold status. And this took forever to, got the, to finish, but I did because remember I had the body cream. So I started mixing the body cream and the glotion together. This was in the... I end that in February as well. So let's move on to some of these candle empties. Because, ooh, we're going to jump this off with my appreciation for my single wicks, y'all. Let's start with pink watermelon. Y'all see these two? Mm. You know, with having almost a thousand square feet, that if I'm going to rock all single wicks, I need five. Like two on the kitchen counter one by the front door, one in my back room, and one in the guest bathroom off of the hall or in this room. So between pink watermelon and pineapple Prosecco running together, when I jumped up there on IG and say, let's show our appreciation for these single wicks because those ones right there had it lit. Y'all, that's a total of three, uh, three pineapple Prosecco and two um, pink watermelon. And then I started to run some of these, the cozy linens, between the warmer and warming them up. Listen, 
you can lose, right? And then I think, again, like the top of March, I wanted some freshness. So I went into my sad stash and I pulled out some of these cucumbers and lily. I never really thought too much about this scent. But this is a very, very fresh scent. This is so fresh that I can see it being paired with your fresh sheets. I can see it being paired with a white t-shirt. And I can see it being paired with eucalyptus springs. I have a few more of these and I just started eucalyptus springs in my room. I think this will be an awesome, awesome, totally, totally fresh pairing. Y'all can trust me on that one. Because I'm smelling the base note in this one. So two more singles, I complete the Gardenia Basil from Aldi. I put this on the warmer while I had the cucumber lily lit out there in the living room. It did its thing. Like, it really didn't travel past the dining table, but in that in the living area, if I was to be just sitting out there on the couch chilling, that Gardenia under the light and the cucumber lily on the end table, amazing. Back to Aldi, lemon buttercream. Like, these still just smell so good, and y'all know you like it. When you done warmed it, warmed it, warmed it till there's nothing left in the jar. This was like that lemon Duncan Hines frosting. Gets no better than that. Gets no simple than that. Do I prefer that over the, the lemon pound cake that uh, Bath & Body got going on right now? That's going to be a yes. Y'all already know that. And then B, uh, copper coconut sand. So I finished this one the other night. Look at the beautiful burn. Um, I'm so selfish with it that the second one that I moved it in the second bathroom and that's going on now. That's not done. And I got a beautiful burn on the Palo Santo single. So my single week Saturday Sunday appreciation has been going really, really well. And then Birchwood and Sage. Um, up under the warmer the past three nights did it serve everything it was supposed to serve have no complaints with it uh y'all know that aldi wants the wick moves around so i wouldn't try to relighten these but it gave me that mellow vibe it gave me what i needed so no complaints with those and i have somebody that finds something for 69 cents and she's sending me some because in my area they have no more i think i found my aromatherapy goats Y'all, look at the beautiful burn on this. Y'all start saw me started burning this like two weeks ago on IG. And I got up here and said, nobody didn't tell me anything. Because I have a couple of these. I've never ordered these. A customer returned these after candle day and like four of them. So I said, you know, let me scoop it to see what it's all about. Well, remember that was December. This is now, uh, this was, no, that was April. And I'm like, the patchouli, patchouli is so distinct, you have to love it. But there's such a negative connotation around patchouli thinking hippie or hippie vibe. But patchouli, I love. Times this vanilla. I got that soft powdery note. It put the scent in the air. And in my room, y'all, I gave it a solid eight, almost a nine. But it's so soft with that vanilla. If I move it open concept, I knew I would need two. But that's okay. It was the perfect wind down bedroom scent as well as this lavender vanilla. Lavender and vanilla off top is very soft. The way Bath and Body Works combined this one together to give off an amazing scent throw. Again, I didn't try this in a big concept because it is lavender times vanilla. And these are my bedroom vibes. It gave me everything I need to give. A 10 out of a 10, but a soft 8 throw. Will I repurchase these all day long? All defines wrapping up some all defines for the month of March. This right here, I bragged about this. This is the daffodil and wild clover clean burn, y'all. No sudden. Let me say this again: majority of all these three wicks clean burn, no sudden. Now, sometimes the wicks will get clogged when you got to pour some of that wax off. But for the most part, this thing sat in my living room and on my kitchen counter and threw a straight 12. A 12. Y'all know at almost a 1,000 square feet, I can't give too many candles a 12, but this did it. So my so that I didn't shop that week. When I got that, I was on another side of town and I was like, let me see if they got it. I was late to the party. They only had one, so I do have one for backup. And then we got this thing right here that I have pulled the plug on life support. Let's not even talk about it, a lump of nothing straight to the trash. What we will talk about that was amazing. Dun, 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 dun. Duh. 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 Ask anybody who purchased this bad girl, did she give what she was supposed to give? 
I love and hate the fact at the same time that Tuscany have four different wax formulas. The premium set and wax in the three weight jars is more paraffin blend and this is a marble blend. It always take more than one to fill a space. In my living room table, dining room table, kitchen counter, it always takes two. It always takes three with the pillar jars. One thing, good thing about the pillar jars though is it takes you a month to use this candle and I paired this with Positively Sweet. This combination right here was one of the first Tuscany candles I got a good scent through from using one candle. My bedroom all of February was a whole vibe. As well as the living room. I mean, it really didn't go far past the dining table. And that's where Positively Sweet picked up at. But y'all, I was telling everybody, go find these marked down. Go find these marked down. This was a big hit. Although I'm not a Puff Daddy fan, I feel like the bad girl come out and play. Listen, pomegranate lemonade, 12s across the board. Coral waves from my bedroom, had it on lit, right? Moved it out here to the living room, living room across the dining room, lit. But then as the candles start going, it took, it took on a different peachy, beachy note that it was that relaxing peachy, beachy mango that automatically you think fruit, you think open concept, but I got my full enjoyment out this in the bedroom. Was so nice, backed it up, not once, not twice. I think I backed her up three times. And then you had this girl right here that sat at my front door that day that went down the hallway. She is a 12, she's a 12. She is my first 12 of 2022. So why not get a creep? I did that, sweet red mango. And then this right here, this is like, this makes me sad. Boys to men, it's so hard to say goodbye. I finished this last night. Y'all heard me for the past couple of days talking about this candle and why can't this just be a spring release in Bath and Body Works? Leave it alone. Leave it in regular rotation. This is a frame flame thrower. She throws a 12. Foolproof. And I'll, honestly, y'all can take sugar lemonade back and just bring us this and we will be all right. But that's wishful thinking. So I finished off Rich Auntie as well. And that, I mean, gotta look. The Star Rosé, the Ice Jasmine. This, I, I, I feel like the Candle Day batches were better than the original now because I had to go back to my original video. Like between this room, even had to move into a smaller bedroom. So that's how batch issues do vary. But she is such a bad girl that on my outlet trip, well, Candle Day, I got three for backup. And on my outlet trip, I saw one on that $12 table. I snatched it up. And then moving on to this right here, white pumpkin. I've never picked up a pumpkin since a candle. Now, don't laugh. Here's why for the culture. A lot of us, you know, you know, we're melanated girls. We, really, we don't really rock with pumpkin like that. It's like everything, all sweet potatoes, especially being from the South. So it's like, why would I pick up a pumpkin scented candle? But nobody told me white pumpkin had caramel drizzle and this is sweetness. It, it gave me what I needed to give because it was cold. It was rainy. I wanted something fall like because that's what I was feeling like. And I hopped on Instagram and say, candle community, y'all wrong. Because nobody never told me about her. One time for the sugar daddies who don't ask you no question. Who does they throw it in the bag, baby, what you need? Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. The cedar is heavy on the cedar. It's cologne -y. I had to put it in a bigger room, but I two-stepped with him. He gave me what I needed to give. He gave me what I needed him to give. So my soul, I think I got him like four times. You always need you a good sugar daddy in your Rolodex. <laughs> Some people said it was just okay. It was mediocre. I'm not going to keep going back through this. It's mediocre. It got through. It's just didn't give me what I thought it should give. Y'all was on the live when I said, what is fluffy about a pound cake? That's going to be nothing. Again, I still have two. I'm going to pair it with something. You all, again, it wasn't horrible. I finished her. I just couldn't be more glad to get this half out my way. Moving on. Get on into some good things, some things I am incorporating for the month. So we have our little employee sample box. And I have the aromatherapy tea, which is that lavender mint and tea. I've been enjoying this for the past couple of nights, y'all. So much so that you know 650 aromatherapy day was the 
the other day oh, excuse me but i'm gonna save that for another video because i actually got mine for free so another video is going to be following that right hand soaps of the month at my middle guest bath lavender and linen and as you can see we kind of already in the middle of that and i think this was last year's ago semi annual fresh lemonade at the kitchen sink um i do like to mix it up like it don't always have to be kitchen lemon and then this right here i saw this at sass again this is first in bloom which is peony petal lilies and green grass that's in my main bedroom's bathroom the lilies and the green grass i thought went well with my scent of the month which is lilies and green sea let's talk about this and green tea body care is consistent of lily of the valley white tea and white amber listen you know you old school bath and body works when you got your fragrance mist in the sleeve so i thought that was so fitting to be april april showers may flowers all that for my scent of the month paired with that soap in my bathroom now this was last year's sass fine i think june sass so see how you rotate your product you got to use your stuff and when it comes down to cocktail and the product, this did have a shower gel, but I wasn't going to go above and beyond for it when I had this off of the sass table. So I accompanied these green tea and lily with the white tea sage shower gel. Give me the same effect. I'm going to bed. So good. And then I got like on my little sea mist vibe to tie in the green tea, the lily, the all that. Y'all see the aquatic, the aquatic thing I got going on? So the sea mineral from Dial has been being B, coupled with underwater oasis. Y'all, this smells amazing. This is actually uh, sparkling bergamot, jasmine, and bamboo with blue musk. It's giving me like a manly vibe, but I love that. And I don't want to be this person while I'm hoarding product, but this just smells so dang good. You know what? I think I'm going to take this out the rotation and hold this for my Norelli set from Victoria's Secret. Because, like, come summer, I start wearing my Portofino by Tom Ford. I think that's what I'm going to do. Another one I've been using slowly, this Chamomile Bubble Bath by Griffin Remedies. Top tier chamomile, even got Bath and Body Works beat. I said what I said. You get the honey, you get the chamomile off top. So much so, this was, this was in my birthday thing that my the staff bought me. I've even went back to Google this. $30. They have a lavender one. They have a eucalyptus. And you know what? The way it gives, I wouldn't even mind spending the money for it. They got it. I think Amber said it was $8 at TJ Maxx. But if the original price is $30, I'm here for it. Another item I'm incorporating this month, my Vaseline Intense Lotion. Although I like this for the smell good, you know, adding another lotion may tone it down. I don't really care about it. I just want my skin nice and hydrated and moisturizing. And I find mixing my Bath and Body Works body creams with another lotion or oil, do, you know, that, that does me just right. Speaking of another empty, this uh, Johnson & Johnson, uh, Fashionista and all them can tell y'all when we coupon heavy out here, them $2.00 johnson and johnson coupon this and the baby wash and that shea butter even on adult skin was the best thing ever i still have lots of these so y'all will see this always in a monthly favorite and that's gonna wrap up everything i got going on uh for the month of april and the candles i'm not even gonna get into that because march madness is a lot of things i didn't finish that i need to finish so i may come back with a mid a april mid mid april type of video but stay tuned for my next video on how to coupon at bath and body works y'all might think how to coupon y'all heard me because i i see some things and getting some questions it's like nah that ain't how that go but I will see y'all on the next one. Bye.